What is happening gals and guys? We are back with some more Alan Wake here. So, um, not exactly sure this is exactly where we left off because I had, had some Hades runs uh, to perform as well. Um, so, yeah, this game uh, got a few problems. As it is an old game, um, old games used to sometimes contain licensed music. And um, this game is apparently packed with them. Now, to be clear, uh, there's been a lot of conversation around it. Uh, Google it some. And, um, oh, we're heading down here, yeah. Um, apparently, it, it should be okay. But uh, the videos that I upload, one of them still got a uh, copyright uh, alert on it and YouTube nowadays have a quite a cool feature so you can actually remove the music um, in the YouTube editor so I tried that on the uh, second video I recorded and it seemed to have passed so that should be okay I guess but uh, still if it turns out to be too much uh, I don't know what to do and of course this is recorded in um, beforehand so you <laughs> it's probably a really unnecessary comment there but yeah anyway in case you're wondering if the let's play gets released and it's missing all the cool old songs that's why commentary should be left intact they say so oh now we missed all of this twilight zone no, Night Springs. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Take this opportunity to start my timer. Now, even if it's a remaster, it's quite old, so newer games, they usually include the play with li <clears throat> uh, license-free music. Basically, switch out the soundtrack. Alright, so, it's still, um, what's his name? Sparky. Or whatever the hell his name is. Uh, that we're looking for and our objective is still to get to the gas station reach the gas station yes all right here we go don't fall off and die it's a lot of weird activity going on here I can see some ammunition nice Probably mean we have a fight coming up. I can hear voices. I really like the setting in this game. Something about it. Got that almost Twin Peaks vibe to it. Seems safe. Uh-oh. No, no, no. That's a lot of them. Come on. Get wrecked. Get 
Okay. Oof. Was that some... What is that? Twitching all over the place like that. Here it comes. No, I dodged that. Definitely dodged that. What is? What is you? What is you? I can't get a lock on him. Oh, there he is. I hear him. Alright, so something is blocking the gate from... Oh, oh there we go. Nope. <clears throat> oh, wait. Can we stun... Oh, shit. Okay, there he is. And there he is not. Try and dodge him. So, what is blocking the gate from actually opening? Okay. <clears throat> he was blocking the gate. Waste of ammunition. Oh, wait, I'm done. There was a whole crate over here, right? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I see it. And hey, Presto. Great float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Have a look around. The had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Yeah, that's a bit alarming, but... Uh. So I take it the front door is probably locked. Just I looking for those the coffees. Find a phone to call Thermoses. You never know. Oh, back door. Nope. In we go then. Do we go in here? No, of course through the garage. Through the garage. It was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Whoa. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel it. Just now, I can see the in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. 
I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Yeah, maybe. Read. Games and activities. Raffle tickets, fishing competitions, pie contests, and surprise competitions. Live music. Right on. Right on, right on. Ba ba ba. Phone? Right ball sheriff station. Oh shit, they actually came. A little less silent hilly then. Yeah, he's gonna get arrested. You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Sounds good to me. Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. of episode one. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could wait here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. Yeah, there might be a lot of music, actually. God damn it. Alright, episode 2, taken. <clears throat> Honey, I'm home. Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Kitchen. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Ellen Wake is awake. The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall has necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri-state area. People are advised to stay indoors as many roadways are already closed, and city officials are not expecting snow crews to keep up with the weather. We're now on the third day of the blizzard. Hmm. Where are you at, Alice? In here? Oh, hey. 
I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. Ha ha ha. That's a big box. Examine cover, cover up mocks. Yes, if I can find my way over there. These? These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> what? Alan? Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Fuse box should be right by the door. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. I'm right here. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. There we go. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, right? Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Smart. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up like that, didn't you? No, no. Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. Yeah, not entirely sure about that. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah Maybe we should go and try and find the... Um... She's very good at her job. Yeah, sure, of course, but uh, the guy with the radio station. Is that a Commodore 64? No. All right, thanks, Doc. I'll be out of here. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, we're in the. Oh, here's this. Are testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. Yeah. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Dwight. The bolts will be changing. Sarah, so we're. Sarah and Alan now, I guess. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Chucky's gas station with Thornton. No sign of him. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. That was Cynthia Weed. Uh -huh. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper. Sarah Breaker. Mr. What up, dog? On the, desk. the battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? Oh, don't be so mad. Now. Can you tell me what <clears throat> happened? 
I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the boss. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is this? What the hell? There's a hole in the fence. Look at the time it's younger. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. Read? Read what? Oh. Yeah, that's uh, quite a few people gone missing. All right, the back lot, parking lot. No. Yeah, everybody seems to have a fear of the dark here. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But first, I wonder what the case is with all these radio. Uh... Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for you to sign off. Radio machines. That's what they're called. One more item before I go. All right. It's been a busy night for sure. Let's head out. I can see a page. How do we get in there? I swear I saw a page. Oh, it's uh, there. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it, but how the hell do I get in there? Can I jump the fence? No. Can I? Yes, I can. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. Yeah, here there it is. There was something for me in an abandoned car. <clears throat> but first, Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. All right. The caller meant business. Barry. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Uh, yeah, if we can ever get out of here again. Ah, uh, there we go. Mew. More music. God damn it. Alright, we'll just uh, leave those alone. Woo! Alright. Can we leave? Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? No. I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, you still need to talk about it. No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey. What the hell? Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. 
I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow, I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Ooh. Max. What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. <clears throat> she even has a fan site dedicated to you. <clears throat> All right. Oh, Green Herb. No, wait. Wrong game. Seriously, Al, wait here. What you were saying in the car? Yeah, where's my thermos? No, aww. Almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but ah. mine are kind of full here. Bear trap? I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his what? foot cut. Yeah, we ain't got time for that. Hello. Give me my... Oh, there he is. When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's just... Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Seriously, Alice... Yeah, you got a point. Just go and meet a kidnapper? Those situations always end up in disaster. We here. Definitely got a point. Yo. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. All right. Just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Radio mast. Got it. Thank you. All right. So this is probably a good place to wrap up the episode and we'll um, continue in the next one. Just hear him out. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went into thin air. Yep. Who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him? You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, true, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long, tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. <laughs> You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out. Oh my god, a conversation no just goes on. Her, Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. We're done? Alright. Anyway, <clears throat> wrapping up here. Uh, thank you gals and guys for watching. If you do enjoy the content, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next one. And about the music, I'm not sure how it'll sound in the final videos, but 
we'll uh, try and get through this. So, as always, ci vediamo.